Alicia, do you think leaving your husband on his own to take care of your daughter is okay? What? I'm saying that you need to do something about how you're always with Angela ever since she was hospitalized. Don't be ridiculous. It's my job as a parent to support her while she's fighting this illness. You need to take care of things on your own until Angela gets better. What? Do you know who you're talking to? I'm the one supporting this family! You're just a lazy good-for-nothing that used Angela's illness as an excuse to quit her job! What? Just let the doctors take care of her illness. I'm the one paying for her medical bills anyways. You should be grateful and prioritize taking care of me! I only quit my job because I couldn't take care of Angela while working at the same time. See? You're being rebellious again! Yep, that settles it! What do you mean? I'll give you the divorce papers, so just leave already. Divorce papers? I'm going to marry Jennifer. She took care of the house while you weren't there to do so. What? Jennifer, my sister. Yep. She took care of me with her body while I was lonely. What? There's no way I could have resisted. <laughs> Putting your hands on your wife's sister is one thing. But to think that you would fall for Jennifer's tricks? Say whatever you want. It's your fault for failing to take care of me. I'll give you just enough money to not become homeless. But I'm not paying an alimony, alright? Arnold! Bye! Hi, Alicia! It's been 11 years, right? To think that you would still have feelings for me! <laughs> I guess it can't be helped! What? Arnold! You haven't contacted me ever since you divorced me from my sister, 11 years ago. What do you want? I returned to my parents' house. What? I'm trying to return, to be exact. But I saw you and what seems to be Angela entering the house. Why do you want to return after all these years? I thought it was time for me to inherit the family business, considering my dad's age. It's the perfect timing as well, since me and Jennifer just had a son. Which is why me and my son, who's going to inherit the business after me, are returning for the first time in 11 years. Uh, return? I heard that the family business already closed. What? Your father was too old to work anymore, and no one was there to inherit the business, so... But that's why I'm returning! You need at least ten years of experience to become a professional, it seems. But because you just disappeared with my sister eleven years ago, your father had no choice but to close the business considering his age and condition. What? But I came back! There's no point in telling that to me. Oh, I remember. I almost forgot why I contacted you in the first place. What is it? Leave my parents' house. Huh? You're not even related to me anymore. Why have you been staying at my parents' house for 11 years? Leave! I have a son now. So I don't need you and that weak daughter of yours anymore. <laughs> Jennifer, my son and I are going to be living in that house from now on. You're not invited. Don't tell me you've already prepared to move here. Yep, I can move anytime. <laughs> That's fine. Just don't regret it, okay? Why would I? <laughs> hey! What's the meaning of this? Hmm? Why is my
my uncle's family living here! This is my parents' house! It's simple. It's your uncle's family's house now. What? Why? What about my mom and dad? They moved to the countryside after they closed the family business. They moved? And your uncle, who used to always change jobs, was finally able to settle down at a company in his hometown. He was looking for a house, so it was the perfect timing. I didn't hear anything about this! What are you talking about? Didn't you disappear with my sister 11 years ago and cut all contact with us? I'm their only child. It's not like I blocked their accounts, so they could have at least told me where they moved. It probably means that they disowned you. But I have a healthy son now, not a sick daughter like Angela. If I call them now... Your parents don't care about the gender. And Angela's fine now. What? It took one year for her to fully heal, but she's fine now. She's now a part of the volleyball team at her high school. Oh, wait. Then why were you at my parents' house? I'm pretty sure I saw you and Angela entering. When was this? I think it was during the three-day holiday last month. Oh. That must be when I visited for the sleepover we have a few times a year. Sleepover? I got a new job once Angela fully healed at your uncle's company. What? We already knew each other, and he treated me like family. I got along with his wife in particular since we shared hobbies. She let us stay at her house so we could work on a project together. That's probably where you saw me. Are you serious? Then where should I go to? I probably shouldn't be asking you this, but couldn't you have gone to my parents' house instead? What? That's impossible! Me and Jennifer just suddenly disappeared! There's no way we could just go back! But didn't you go back to your parents' house? It didn't end well, though. I only thought I could return because me and Jennifer had a son who could inherit the family business! It didn't matter, though, did it? Shut up! Jennifer said going to her parents was impossible, so... Is Jennifer with you right now? What? No. She's at a friend's house with our son. Apparently, Jennifer comes to our parents' house frequently. What? You probably know how I'm distant with my parents, who always favor Jennifer over me. But according to a friend who lives near my parents, Jennifer suddenly reappeared three years after we divorced. She's been visiting frequently ever since. These past few months, she's been visiting with what seems to be her son and husband. What? Since it's my parents, they probably welcomed her back as soon as she returned. I thought this husband was you, but apparently it wasn't? No, it wasn't! What's the meaning of this? Answer me! I only heard about this from my friend. Isn't it best if you find out on your own? It wasn't my son? Hmm? The baby Jennifer gave birth to, it wasn't my son! Oh, that's what you're talking about. Jennifer was cheating on me with another guy! She and this guy visited her parents, and she told her parents that he was her husband, and they just accepted it! She said she already submitted our divorce papers half a year ago, so they threw me out as soon as I knocked the door! But weren't you living with Jennifer even after she submitted the divorce papers? Maybe she just turned it in without telling you? No. I gave her filled out divorce papers after we had a huge fight. She probably used that. Oh. 
What should I do? Can I just block you now? What? I hadn't blocked you until now since you were Angela's father, even if you had divorced me. But you contact me for the first time in 11 years only to talk about this. But... What I'm saying is, don't contact me or Angela anymore. Uh, maybe we could go back to how things used to be? Huh? There's no way I'm doing that. Alicia! Don't contact me ever again! I finally blocked Arnold after 11 years. What happened to him after that, I only heard from others. Apparently, he did a DNA test to see if he actually wasn't related to his son, and sure enough, he wasn't. He got revenge by suing Jennifer and this other guy and forcing them to be in debt. But in turn, he was sued by multiple female employees at his workplace for sexual harassment. Not only did the money he got from Jennifer disappear because of this, but he was even forced to take out a loan. In the end, he was taken away by some shady organization. What happened after that? I honestly don't care. <laughs>